What's up, y'all? It is your girl, Bomb Jalal. I am back to watch season one, episode two of House of the Dragon. No, I did not watch the trailer because I didn't want any kind of spoiler, any kind of hint as to what happens in this episode. I just want to be fully surprised. Um, I did see a tweet saying Rhaenyra has that dog in her, so I'm guessing she's going to do something pretty intense in this episode or very, like, I don't know, something that shows her dominance or asserts her dominance in this episode. But yeah, um, I'm ready to watch it, so let's get right into it. This looks <laughs> wow, this looks amazing. Wow. That looks so good. Oh my God. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Is this the triarchy people? That, uh, that, uh, um, Corliss was referring to. He's like they. That's how they punish their people, uh, crab feeders or whatever, something like that. I have actually. I've sent envoys to Pentax and Valantis to see if we might find common cause. Ships and men are the way. You have dragon rights, brother. Pull up on him with the quickness. Send out. Exactly. Isn't that simple? Mm -hmm. It would be so cool. At the princess has a plan. Curtis, like, yeah, fuck with that. I only meant to listen to me. Well, huh? Yeah. There's some that's mm -hmm. inside. No, bro, don't listen to him. Why don't you take the prince back to see about the new King's God Austin in that commander? A fine idea. This night will protect you as well. You should. Dang, man, this nigga, uh, Otto was a fucking puppet master. His dad ain't even say shit. Her dad ain't even say shit. Like, come on, bro. The fuck was that? The Desmond recently bought a wood bead poster. Oh my God, all these scissors look so beautiful and bright. Look at the colors. I love it. You know, it looks so like a cut, like custom from their household. Banners and stuff. Well, fuck you. Oh, fuck you. I don't like auto growth. Rainy's over there washing. The Raymond Malaka. Even if he's not, the combat experience. You're attacking the poetry. Exactly. Don't waste my time. I need somebody that know how to fight. Period. Oh, oh, boy from uh, Dorn. Okay, let's go. Some of the skills of the Lord of Blood. Be welcome, Christian. You saw combat in the storm. Well, it's my music such as Crickle and Hamster and I'm putting allies in the crowd. So, right. Okay. My father should be defended by a man who's in the combat. Period. Did you not? Yeah, stop playing with me. I'm trying to waste okay. my time. Yeah. Okay. So Christine's invested to them. Bitch. Yeah, get out of here. 
after that pervy yeah, shit he did last episode. Oh. Is this still the model? No. Oh, he made a model of Valeria. Mm. Um, all over the history to the provide the plans. Wow. The stone made from the stuff. Even if the left stuff can be That depends. It's a freehold at the time. It could fall. Or a thousand dragons. And maybe large enough to span the seas of the world. The glory of all the Lyria will never be. Message! You paint such an aspiring portrait of my lady. It is an honest fact, doesn't it? At the moment, the crown is perceived as being blind. And the blind incursion in the steps, though, is the only way to demonstrate that we are not. The huge storm is neither so easy around it, but you must never await its coming. Message! Do you hey. have a specific course of action to propose? My lord. Join our family. Where our daughter may live, unite the two great surviving Valerian houses. If the Targaryen dragons and the Valerian fleet found in blood, you can show the realm that the crown's strongest days are ahead. What? I did not see that coming. And that girl, like she's 10 years old. What? I haven't given marriage much time. Hasn't even been our previous identified. The realm accepts what you take a new life. You know what you do. To strengthen your line and produce more heirs. You could not ask for a stronger amount than you Wait, she looks like she's 10 years old, though. Excuse me? Oh my god. That escalated so fucking quickly. Jesus. What the fuck is that? Is that maggots? Ugh. I have no audience for you today. With Lord Corys and Princess Rainey's no, no chance of winning your grace. It's fucking disgusting. You propose a marriage. To whom? Your grace? To Lady Lena. To combine the strength of our houses and demonstrate my lady's strongest days are ahead. Not because Lord Corys is a You are the king. That nasty ass smirk he be having on, I'm going to slap him. So ugly. He gonna refuse him. Did they bring the little girl? She looks so, oh my God. She looks like she's quick. Only for a short time. They got some ways. Some ways. But too large for the Some would say too large for our world. Wow. And you got what she wants. Okay. You know where they are now. Your breath. It would be a great honor to join our houses as they were in old Valerian. I would give you many children as pure Valerian blood so that we might spread them the royal line on the land. Is that what your father said? Yes, her parents. Mm -hmm. Probably, yes. She's what like she's a mind? child. But I wouldn't have to bed you until I turned 14. Jesus fucking Christ. 
Oh my God. No. Oh Lord Jesus. This is our best friend Lord, but one of those who mail. And when that boy comes of age and your father has passed, the men of the world will expect him to be there, not for you. Don't be a hater. You of all people should not be downing her. Her of all people, she had that opportunity and she lost out on it. So she should be happy for Rhaenyra right now. Like at least she, you know what I'm saying? It's a step in the right direction. Like why being a bitch to her? Like why? Seems the realm wants to be quick. She been putting in work, man. She trying to, she trying to, real man. She trying to catch a fish. Who else is saying this? Oh, she got it fixed. This is. Gesture. I'm not gonna lie, it makes me happy to see him happy, but I don't like the precedent that was set last episode that she's been pushed by her dad to, you know, like spend time with him. But it makes me happy seeing him like feel good again after what he's been going through. He don't have a squire? Why is his daughter getting ready? Do he be touching on her? He acts so weird. I've assembled 20 of your best household guards on the night. The hour of the Lord's Day. Look at this scene. This looks so epic. Wow. It's the Dragonstone. Amazing. Oh, they got there quick. But to relinquish the dragon's day, disband your army, banish your whore, Damn. and lead Dragonstone by order of his grace, King Valerian. Where is the king? I don't see him. Grace would never lower himself to entertain such a mind as fast. Wonderful. Even if it ends in the death of your unborn child and its mother. He like, what was that? What was that? What y'all say? Oh my god. What of you? She's a fucking spirit. Is that Rhaenyra? That's Rhaenyra, ain't it?
Cyrax is so beautiful. Craig already has a woman, but he don't like her. He said, but I don't like her. Why she walk away? Is he lying? Do not tear, The object of your eye. Damon said, but I don't like her. Why you do his wife like that? That's crazy. They still ain't showed us his wife either. Let's go. Don't play with her. Don't play with her. Period. No, please, no, no, strong. The fuck you want? I don't like him. I'm I'm of everybody on council. That's all I would ever give you, Greg. Ever since my name is read by the Archmistress of the Great Council, I was in this life. She's twelve. Oh, she's twelve. She's an angel. Wow. Jesus Christ. I never asked her. If you truly want my unintended opinion, I do. You should wait my little hour in your place. She's a baby. She's a literal child. She looked like a child. Your Grace, the princess has returned from Brighton. Right? Good day. He's like, excuse me, I'm talking to you. I'm to the end of that lecture. The feat in which Lord Sir Otto could have accomplished to learn. Facts. Yeah. Wow. I sometimes forget how we like people for that. Tomorrow, my lord. I have decided to take a new wife. Otto's, Otto's daughter. That's why she's there. She'll never be in a council meeting. I wonder, did he tell Rhaenyra who he was taking, though? I intend to marry. Yeah. The Lady Alison Hightower. Yep. He yep. Him. He didn't tell her. That's why he looked so troubled in the face. Now I see why. Because he knew he was going to have to drop this bomb. Why didn't he tell her when they had that, that combo in the room just now? Why didn't he tell her that then? Why would he wait to drop the bomb on her and they was just in the room having a conversation? That's crazy. That's for Larkin's origins. Reach back to all the 
Blood. <sighs> that was a good episode of what was the name of this one? The Rogue Prince. Uh, so I'm assuming this is referring to Damon and simultaneously referring to referring to Corliss because now it looks like Corliss is trying to make a an alliance with Damon. One point that I wanted to acknowledge is the fact that Damon Curious for his family at the end of the day, even though he, you know, he was upset about the decision that was made about him not being heir, you know, he could have did what he wanted to Rhaenyra when they just met at Dragonstone and he chose not to. Even just with the combo with Corliss, he was like, look, bro, that's to my brother. You're not going to talk bad about him. We might have our differences, but you're not going to sit here and talk about my brother like that in my face. And I respect that. Like, that's how you should be about family. You should ride for them no matter what. Like, behind closed doors, I might fight, but... In front of people, you got to back your family up. So I respect Damon for that. Like, it's showing the different complexities and facets of his character. And I, I respect it. Like, him lying about having a child on the way and getting married is just like, huh? I, I guess he wants to get the egg to gain some more power in Dragonstone. Because he only has, I think he only has the one dragon, if I'm not mistaken. But what? Like, you doing a lot right now. But I appreciate how Rhaenyra handled that. She pulled up, she let it be known, like, look, bro, you're not gonna do that. My brother, I lost my brother and my mom, you're not gonna, like, play with them like that. So I like how she handled it. In all of six months, and the king is about to marry the hand's daughter. We kind of saw this coming. She started putting the work. As soon as the mom and the son passed, her dad was like, yo, go holla at him. And she's been putting in the work. Like I said, she bought the, she meant the gift and all the kind words she's been saying. It just, yeah, there, there, there she goes. Um, it was kind of like, yeah, it was, it was bound to happen sooner or later, but it is, I will say I like that it was kind of like gradual and it wasn't like he just hopped into it with her. It was kind of like a calculated decision because a lot of Lionel Strong was like, oh, you should go with the Valerians. They have Targaryen blood that would make you like they're the other strongest house in the realm. Like that would be a strong, a powerful force to be reckoned with. Like, but it seems like he decided to go with his heart instead. I could be wrong. I guess we'll just have to see as time goes on, but it seemed like he decided to go like with his heart instead of like with thinking politic wise, if that makes sense. Rhaenyra obviously seemed saddened by the news because they had that talk in his room and she also had a combo with Allison and Allison was like, you know, learn to open up to him and things of that nature. And her own best friend is trying to steal the realm from under her feet. Like, which, okay, her dad did tell her not to say anything. Like, don't mention it. But still, it's kind of like, you my best friend. I don't know. That's, that's a little slimy to me. It's a little slimy to me. I'm not fucking with it. Her picking Kristen Cole as her uh, main guard, I like the choice, but I'm also kind of saddened by it because it's like, what if she grows to like him? They can't really get, Kingsguard can't marry. Like, that kind of sucks. Kristen Cole is a little cutie, though. And he was talking this shit during the parley. 
when they pulled him on Damon. I like it. All of it was not calculated. His approach, pulling the sword out, I'm like, bro. And I knew that was going to happen. Like, when they pulled up to Dragonstone, I'm like, bro, he has a dragon. Y'all pulled up with swords, that's it? That wasn't a smart, like, what was that? I guess they assumed him saying, oh, the order of your king would make him just bow down and give up. But why would he do that? He literally pulled up to King's Landing and stole an egg. He gives a fuck, like, <laughs> what? And it's crazy that Rhaenyra had to be the one to rant, reel him in. The king did want to pull up on him. He did want to pull up and fight. I'll give the king that, but they was just like, it's dangerous. You don't want to get killed. But I honestly, I don't think Damon would kill his brother, honestly. I don't think he would do that. They try to make him seem like he's a threat to the king and try to pin them against each other. But I really don't feel like Damon would do that to him. They have their differences, but I don't feel like he would do that. Um, but it, it shows that Rhaenyra can reel him in. Like, she, he respects her because she was just like, straight up, bro, like, you trying it. You need to get, you need to fall in line, basically. So I respect how she handled it. Dragonstone looked fucking amazing. Like, I want to rewatch this episode. Everything looks so beautiful. From the sigils to the banners, the armor, the scenery, the backdrops, the CGI King's Landing. Like, everything looks so fucking good. Like, how they did Dragonstone. <sighs> that was beautiful. Like, after we watched this episode, just to like peep the scenery all over again, that was so nice. I love how they did that. Like it was literally in the clouds. How she, how Rhaenyra came up on Cyrex through the clouds. Like, love it, love it. Um, so far, I will say this episode was kind of like a slow burn. A lot of dialogue, not too much action. Um, but that kind of makes sense in the beginning of seasons of shows. So I'm a, I'm gonna let it do its thing and let it build up. But overall, I really enjoyed this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. I invite you guys to come. Well, I invite you guys to watch my previous one from episode one, um, The Heirs of the Dragon. And I invite you guys to also watch with me in my next one. I will be dropping episode three next week <clears throat> after I watch that episode. But I really, really, really enjoy this show so far. Um, I'm happy to have some more fantasy to watch. I'm a big fantasy lover. So I'm just happy to have some new fantasy to watch and it's such great quality so far. So yeah, I appreciate y'all for watching with me. Like I said, I invite you guys to watch with me next week. And yeah, I will see y'all in my next video. Peace.